Welcome back, it's Melanie or She Shed Scrappers. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Fernwood Collection. And this is going to be a very quick layout because I am using the wreath, kind of the fern wreath from the paper, uh, the papers. I am going to be using two photos. They are quite similar. Um, one is my kids smiling and the other one is them being goofy. Um, on the same spot of the hill and almost look identical but if you do look close there's one that they are being them goof their goofy selves <laughs> and apparently i'm tongue-tied today sorry about that so i'm going to kind of cover up that opening on the bottom of the wreath with my photos and kind of just angle them and overlap them i did pop the one up on some foam tape i chose to use the one that they're actually smiling as my kind of focal point i guess and then there was this really cute tag that says out here exploring and i loved that i think it's acetate or no vellum i think is kind of the cloudy <laughs> Oh, I don't know my verb, my words and things as much as I should at this point with scrapbooking as often as I do. But that's kind of going to be the base of my layout and I'm going to kind of just go ahead and decorate it from there. I have the uh, title stickers for the collection as well. And there was the phrase, hello life. Um, I decided to bring in from my stash a darker green um, smaller alpha that says new so these photos are from the beginning of quarantine in March of 2020 um, so I kind of the word new has to do with that but then these pictures also represent my first day of being a stay-at-home mom um, it happened to be my son's birthday and so I went into work for maybe an hour and they had already given my two weeks and they said go ahead and go home we are you know bare bones at this point um, anyways so I went home and I have not looked back <laughs> I am loving my time as a stay-at-home mom so that's kind of why it says hello new life um, I will probably try to journal somewhere on the layout uh, just so it's not confusing down the road for whoever is looking at the layout. Uh, I did decide to rip the top right and add some of that bright green paper behind it just to give me another place for some more embellishing. With the wreath, there's not much I felt like I had to embellish uh, because it is kind of busy, but I did add that camera and then some puffy ferns behind the camera. Uh, and really just kind of wanted to use all of the outdoor, I mean, the collection is kind of all outdoors, but kind of the more masculine outdoor stickers and embellishments. I did decide to kind of keep the top a little more simpler than normal and just added three different phrase stickers at the top um, with some gold stars. And I just thought that was enough. A lot of times I will kind of place a larger embellishment cluster um, if I rip paper like that, but I chose to kind of keep it more on the simple side there. I then decided to get this bird sticker and add it where those two ferns come together. I thought it was a great place to kind of add an embellishment. Um, and so I chose the little bird and then I'm just going to kind of add some more gold hearts around that little bird. Um, but then I also decided because I probably won't use mushrooms in any other layout. Um, mushrooms, morale mushrooms are big in Michigan. Uh, I don't like them. And these, I believe, obviously are not morale mushrooms. So <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever use mushrooms. So I decided to layer them, um, kind of over the, where the two, photos come together because that is one place I like to embellish. Um, I then added those puffy ferns. I took them off of the tag there and added them to the bird at the top to kind of spruce up that a little bit more. And then just added some hearts, 
gold hearts around the clusters as well to finish it off. So I just love the kind of wreath papers. I feel like those layouts come together so simple or so quickly and so they're so simple to put together. So I hope you guys got some ideas on how to use the wreath papers um, and I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.